Hi, I'm Deb Heatherly with Deb's Cats and Quilts, and today I'm very excited to show you my new Cat's Cradle tool for Creative Grids. What's a Cat's Cradle? Well, Cat's Cradle is a traditional block, normally with lots of triangles. With my tool, you can create them in six different sizes, and you'll never cut a single triangle. You're going to create them from squares and rectangles. First, let me show you what the block looks like, and then let's talk about how you use the tool to make it. If you'll look right here between my fingers, this is a typical cat's cradle unit. A square, two triangles, and a larger triangle. This is a split cat's cradle unit. It has more small triangles in the corner and a larger triangle. But again, you're never going to cut a single triangle. You're going to create with squares and rectangles and have perfect blocks when you're finished. This is the Cat's Cradle tool, and one of my favorite things on it is the fact that we've put the cutting chart right on the tool for you. All six sizes are right here. All you have to do is grab your fabric and cut according to the chart. We're going to make the Cat's Cradle units two at a time, which makes them very fast. For every pair, we're going to cut two squares, two small rectangles, and a larger rectangle. We're going to sew those squares and rectangles together end to end, and then we're going to make sure that we press away from the square and toward the rectangle. We'll take those units and sew along the long edge, once again pressing away from the square and toward the rectangle. That's where this end of the tool comes into play. On the tool it says place on seam line and mark your sewing line. We're going to place that right on the stitching line that we kept visible because of the way we pressed and we're going to mark our sewing line. We'll turn it around and we'll repeat it on the other side. Now it's time to pair it with that large rectangle that we cut in the beginning. We'll place them right sides together and we'll sew right on the lines that we just drew. When you get to this point, here's one that I've sewn. You've already created one cat's cradle on this side and one on the other side. Now we just need to cut them apart. There's a quarter inch mark with plenty of grip on this tool and we will use it to place it on our sewing line and cut the units apart. The little confetti you see in the middle is all you have to throw away. That's all the waste there is. Once we have our cat's cradle unit, it's time to use the other end of the tool to square it up to perfection. There are six stack squares and six diagonal lines on the tool. This one is sized for a three and a half. I'm going to place that diagonal line on my seam and place that square right on my fabric square. I would then trim off these two edges. I'll flip it around, place that three and a half inch line right on that line again. Now my stack square will just kiss the end of my fabric square and the dashed line on this end goes right through the end of the side that I've just trimmed, keeping everything symmetrical and lined up. Once I trim, I have perfect cat's cradle units with perfect triangles that I never had to cut. To take it a step further to make a split cat's cradle, look in your instructions to find out what square you need on this side, draw a diagonal line on the square, place it on your block, and sew on that line. You'll fold that corner back to make your split cat's cradle. Trim away all of the excess underneath, and look, there's your perfect quarter inch seam allowance for your split cat's cradle. Now with this block, it's all about where you place your lights and darks for the different looks that you get. In this traditional setting of lights and darks, this was my original square. The light was my small rectangles, and the dark was my large rectangle. The quilt behind me uses this traditional square in these colors placed in a barn raising setting. In this split cat's cradle, the red was my original square. Here's my original little rectangles and my larger rectangle here with a light flip back. This one is one of my favorites. At first glance, it looks like half square triangles, but there's lots more color. If you'll look for the block right here, there's my square. I have two dark rectangles and a light large rectangle. So I get a half square triangle that 
looks like I did a lot of work that I really didn't do. And here's another split cat's cradle that looks like star points. Here's my original square. It's light this time, dark small rectangles, and a light large rectangle with a dark flip back. Pair them and you've got star points with that one also. The tool is available now and I have three single patterns for runners. I also have a book with eight different projects. Six of those are quilts with multiple sizes and two runners in the book. And there are three cut loose press patterns. This cut loose press pattern uses the cat's cradle units as an accent. It's a binder cover. It's a place for you to store all your wonderful cut loose press patterns. It's also a great introductory class if you're a shop owner and it's very fat quarter friendly so it's easy to kit. That's it. I hope you'll give my cat's cradle tool a try. I think you'll love it. It's very addicting.